back again with another quick video tutorial. But before you do anything, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button. That is the little bell button so you can get all notifications when we post immediately because you do not want to miss what is coming out of Neoville, especially today. So we know that the cold season is here, October is here, that brisk um, fall weather, favorite, favorite uh, time of the year for me. Um, and so it's soup making time. And so I wanted to do a chicken pot pie soup. Yes, you heard me. A chicken pot pie soup. It's going to have all the ingredients of a chicken pot pie except the bread. Um, and that's good because if you're on some type of low carb now, you know, you'll be able to eat this soup. Now, well, maybe a little bit because I am going to be adding flour for the root flour. Um, and I did not bring out the butter as I'm looking at my ingredients, but it will, you will need flour and butter. And for the other ingredients... Now, you can get a rotisserie chicken or some chicken breast that's already been cooked. Um, but due to me having these uh, two chickens in my freezer, I wanted to go ahead and use those. And so we have, and this is a double portion recipe. I'll put the description of the recipe um, for half of what I'm doing because you may not want to do um this much you may want to do a regular size but i have men and boys in my family and so i like to make enough so there'll be leftovers and so for, for the ingredients we have our veggies our celery carrots onions frozen corn frozen peas um we have some parsley we also have some yellow potatoes it's best to use the yukon potatoes they didn't have yukon so i got yellow idaho because they just kind of hold up more they don't taste gritty when you use the regular Idaho, they'll taste a little... Uh, you know how when it cooks it... I can't describe it. These are just more smooth texture. And we have some cream. And so, uh, just give us a few minutes to get started. We're going to go ahead and get our chicken in the pot. Now, you can, now, if you do decide to go ahead and cook your own chicken, you can either roast it or, honey, you can just put it in a pot with some water, add some seasonings, and boil it. And that's what we're going to do to kind of make it easier. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are back, and I accidentally added the chicken bouillon before I hit record. But what I did, I went ahead and washed the chicken, and we got it in the pot. Um, we added some bay leaves, and we added about three good tablespoons of chicken bouillon. And then we covered our chicken with water. While the chicken was boiling, we went ahead and cut up our vegetables, our carrots, our celery, and our onions. Um then once the chicken was finished i let this boil for about an hour and a half um we took our chicken out and as you see and y'all this chicken was heavy watch my hand shake when i pull this out but um because i was scared it was gonna fall apart so i was trying to do it carefully um uh, the second one did but anyway um once we got our chicken out we took out the bay leaves um and we took the chicken stock and we poured it into another bowl because we're going to be using that pot again. And so um, once we got our chicken stock into a bowl, we went ahead after our chicken had cooled. We shredded up both of those chickens and deboned them, got all the skin off. And so now we're coming back to the pot after we rinsed it out and we're adding a stick of butter. And we're going to go ahead and start uh, kind of softening up our onions, letting them get translucent first. Now, the amount of butter that you put in this pot is the same amount of flour that you want to put in your pot. Like I said, this is a double batch of this soup. I will have in the description the amount for a regular batch, just in case you're not making this much. But I will tell you um, as I'm going how much of everything that I used. And so for this big batch of soup, we used two uh, whole onions. We used about eight carrots and we used about five celery stalks. And now we're getting that in the pot along with the butter and we're kind of getting that um, sauteed a little bit. 
And then what we're going to do is add our flour and it's all purpose flour. And remember, however much butter you add, that's how much flour you need. But first we're going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper on our veggies. And you can cook this for about two to three minutes. It's really just kind of up to you. Um, it still has to boil. So everything is going, even if it doesn't get done here, it's okay because it still has to cook um, a little bit longer. And that is the half a cup of flour that we're adding. And we cook this for about two to three minutes because we're going to make a roux. And you want to get the flour taste out of the soup. Um, and so we're just cooking it until um, we see no more flour. And then gradually we are adding back in the chicken stock. We are not pouring it all in at one time. You do that, what's going to happen is you're going to make your flour clump and your soup won't be smooth. You'll have lumps of uh, flour inside your soup and we don't want that. And so we're adding it little by little until we get it mostly incorporated. And I did about four cups gradually. And then I, I each after each cup, I would stir it, um, making sure it wasn't sticking on the bottom, the flour, because as I said, you don't want a clumpy soup. You want it smooth, uh, a smooth texture with no clumps. And so once we basically got all of that added, we added in the rest of our chicken stock. Um, and y'all, it was already smelling like a chicken pot pie. I do make chicken pot pies, but I love this soup. And then we're going to add in three pounds of our, and these are golden Idaho. Um, you can have Yukon potatoes. And I don't know if they're the same now that I think about it. But anyway, we added our potatoes and we brought that to a boil. You want to boil this for about 15 minutes, just enough to make sure that the potatoes are fork tender you just pull out a potato take a fork and if the fork goes through it you know it's ready for the next step and see the potatoes literally split in half so it was ready and so next thing we added was that half a quart of heavy whipping cream we're also adding it slowly because we don't want this soup to separate and so now you don't have to use heavy whipping cream you can use milk some people use just milk some people use half cream half milk i just prefer to use the whole four cups of cream due to the fact that it is a chicken pot pie chicken pot pie is thick this is not going to be as thick as a chicken pot pie however it's going to have that thick creamy consistency and still be a soup so that's why i chose to just use heavy whipping cream and so you see me adding two bags of corn and two bags of peas and we're going to um also go ahead and add our chicken back in as you see y'all this is a big huge pot of soup but y'all when i tell you all the soup is gone because i did split it with another family this soup was fire okay but i'm getting ahead of myself so we're adding in the chicken once we add in the chicken, um, we're going to uh, put the top back on it and we're just basically going to let it simmer for the next 15 minutes. Um, make sure you stir everything up real good. Basically, everything is already done. At this point, too, if you want to add more seasonings to your soup, you can. Um, if you wanted to add a little bit of garlic or like I'm adding some fresh parsley, um, you don't have to do that. Honey, it's your kitchen. Do what you want. If you want to add a little more salt, this is the time to um, taste your soup to make sure it is seasoned to your liking. And so now the kids are going to taste it and tell you what's going on. Okay, guys, let me show y'all the soup. The soup has been sitting here. Let me show y'all. It's finished. And the yellow on top, guys, that's just the butter from when we sauteed the vegetables, honey. You know, butter will break up and cream. So, I got the boys. And they're going to taste it. Tell everybody hi. <laughs> 
Y'all, Chris is mad because, let me tell y'all, my kids be calling each other slow and stupid. So I've been making them apologize. Well, what I noticed is they doing it on purpose. The apology doesn't mean anything anymore. So Malachi called Chris stupid twice. He apologized. Chris thought it was so funny. He decided he's going to say it like in front of me. Like he did this in the living room. Like he going to say it anyway. After I tell him not to. So now I told him, okay, when he get his money, you owe him $2. You know, you if you're going to be disrespectful, at least, you know, when I was coming up, if my mama or daddy made me mad, I went in the privacy of my room and under my breath or in the bathroom, I did my little hissy fit. Oh, but he always wants to do it in front of me. Like, you know, he apologized for calling him stupid, but then he'll say it again in front of me and then crack up laughing. So we killed that today. Yes. So now he got to come out the pocket. Not only will he be saying sorry, but he going to be giving up $2. Yes. See, things change when you add money to it. Ain't that right? Hey, son. Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right. So I got both of them here, and they're going to be trying this soup for you. You cut that part out. Mm -mm. Okay. No. The world gonna know y'all. So, so let me get this straight. So you embarrass me on, in front of the world, and then I owe him two dollars, and I gotta apologize. Yeah. All right. Sounds like a winner. And I get a little cost. Here, because I know you don't care for the potatoes, Chris. So make sure you didn't have potatoes. I don't need you to sit down. I need you to tell them how you like it. All right, good for you, son. All right, Malachi. You can give me a lot. All right. I just want y'all to taste it. Y'all gonna eat it in a minute. Here. Y'all, these kids sit. All right. Oh, uh, we made cornbread too. But, all right, come on. <laughs> Is it good, Christopher? <laughs> y'all like it? Mm, that's the always oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, I think Chris trying to be sarcastic, but that's okay. You know, I love my boys. And so, um, y'all, this tastes just like a chicken pot no, pie on it. without the crust. However, because I'm BBS, Big Back Syndrome, honey, I had to make me some cornbread, okay? So, the boys like it. Jonathan tasted it. He loves it. I love it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to tell your friends, your cousins, Neil, Pookie Neil. Go to Welcome to Neilville on YouTube. Not Nellyville, because that always come up when people be like, I'm trying to find Neilville. But Welcome to Neilville. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know. This is a real good uh, winter soup. Um, I think everybody would enjoy it. If you like chicken pot pie, you're going to love this, okay? So, definitely try it. Let me know how you like it. And remember, honey, it's, it's your, your kitchen. kitchen. Do what you want. I mean, it not for you ladies. I love you.